Radio. The shadow of my former self. Has a classic unboxing for you. This is the Ryobi. 1 HP, brushless, motor performance, more power, more runtime, longer motor life. Made by the same company that uh, brings everything else out, including Vax and whoever else is on that list. Ryobi, OnePlus, HP. Yeah, finally a HP tool in Australia. Uh, there's not many, but it's starting to drip feed through a few, I suppose. Integrated LED work light. Oh, so you can do the gardening in the Boop. fucking dark. One-handed operation. Ooh, ergonomic. Quick release blade. Brushless motor, 3,000 strokes per minute. 3,000 strokes per minute. It's gonna need some more attachments. And involve, recip saw. All right. Somewhere over the rainbow. I saw them in the shop. Maybe that was a different box. Six year warranty. Just gotta sell your uh, email address to the, the dark side. What do we got? Lots and lots of packaging. Oh, it just comes straight out. Here it is, folks. Without any further ado, Ryobi, Recip Mania. So this is the smallest uh, sibling of the the three or maybe four Recip saws. Gotta say, that's pretty hefty in the hand. Like it's a decent, it's a decent whack of a tool there. Um, obviously no battery yet, so it is a bit front heavy. So hopefully these six amp hour ones. Yeah, so straight out of the box there. Yeah, I mean that's that's a lot better with a six amp hour. And the six amp hours are, are quite a, a decent hefty battery too. Uh, what we got? So that's on full. Well, I mean it's on four LEDs. Take that as you as you will. So looking at the features, uh, lock trigger, so you don't have to hold the trigger on. Ooh, that's, that's got some grunt. Okay. Got obviously the quick release lever, just one sided. So lift up, yeah, okay, so lift up quite high. There's your LED light, it stays on for quite a while. How long was that? Uh, what else is in the box? One blade. That's it, folks. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that was a quite a short unboxing. Quite a small unboxing. Quite a succinct unboxing. All right, how sharp is this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it's sharpish. It's it's okay. It's probably been painted after it's been sharpened. Looks like it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's been painted after it's been sharpened. So, anyway, maybe they all have. Maybe that uh, rounded surface will. Uh, Anyway, can I see a bit of a leg in here, possibly? Put my painting shorts on. All right, so these are Diablo blades to go with it. So we'll just uh, compare these.
Okay, there's four of those. Wow, that's, uh, that's... Hang on a sec. Oof. What are they stuck together with? Oh, wow. I'm not sure what they were stuck together with. The paint. <laughs> yeah, the paint was just a little bit wet. And they stuck them together. Anyway. Will not detract from the performance of the product. So anyway, there's four of these blades in the Diablo pack. Oh, anyway, that's uh, something for later. So this is a general purpose wood slash metal and plastic. Okay, so that's looking, that's looking pretty good. It's uh, more jagged teeth up here, smaller teeth towards the, the top here. So maybe for cutting a sheet steel and stuff, it's, it's using um, these little sections in here. That's, that's smart, that's good. That is quite, that is quite sharp, I must say. Even though it's been painted afterwards, after it's sharpened, that is still quite sharp. That's good. Good job. Okay, and these ones are wood nail embedded. Nail embedded wood. Okay. So, without any further ado, let's do further. Now, for changing the blade, like, please just unplug the thing. It's so easy to pull the battery out and you can never ever hurt yourself with the end of it unless you're just really daft. Um, so it has to go this way. It's hard to see in there when it's all uh, dark inside. Oh, that's... It is quite difficult to get in, I must say, unless it's upside down. Can't be. Can't go from that side. Whoa, what the, what is going on here? Okay, I can't uh, actually get that in. Oh, okay. Just had to pull it that extra bit further. My uh, wrists are a bit painful at the moment from work, so it is harder to pull that out. Pretty sure that's in. All right. Oh, did you see the light came on there? There was no battery in it. That means there's a uh, capacitor in here somewhere and it didn't self-discharge. How about that for some technical data for you? I mean, that sounds pretty horrific. That would cut through lots of things. Um, yeah. I would not get your hands anywhere near that while it's moving at all. Please keep hands clear, I think. That's quite aggressive. So I can't imagine what the bigger ones are like because this was quite a short throw recip. Um, is there any... Oh, okay. Oh. Um, I think uh, with the speed like that, um, I'm sure it would have uh, a few uses, I think. I mean, depending on what uh, attachment you could get on that, it's not a bad speed. So we've got a nail embedded wood on there. I'm sure you can, yeah, if it focuses on my blade, focus up here, please. So six inch wood. I mean, you know, it's pretty average size, I suppose. All right, let's change the set a little bit here. Bring in the trusty. We're just going to uh, have this on a lower setting. 
So. I happen to have a piece of wood with a couple of nails in it. So we're just gonna see uh, how, how that goes through. With this on, of course. camera angle there. Yeah, so it is stuck on that. Okay, I've just worked out how loud this thing is and I don't think I should use it again tonight so it will only be seconds in your time but you're going to skip forward many hours in my life righto so we're going to continue off where I hmm it does collect a bit of dust in there oh well I'm going to continue where I left off with the Ryobi one-handed reset. We'll chuck a full battery in there. And... Which blade was I using? This looks like the one. Nail embedded wood. So we'll chuck the tool in. Must admit this uh, is easier to use. The first time I tried to put it in, that um, wasn't working, so it, it was a bit hard to get in there. A lot easier this time. Alright. I'm always amazed at how slow the first setting on the trigger is. I mean, depending on what uh, attachment you could get on that, it's not a bad speed. Alright, I was cutting through the nail embedded wood here. So I'm just going to get the trusty, the trusty Bosch on. It's getting quite caught on that nail. Oh, it's gone through it. I am cutting with the grain, which is always harder. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's the blade's catching and the, the timber is um, going back and forwards in my hand, which is quite hard to stop at the moment. Okay, it's almost through that second screw. And we'll try and get through that third one. Well, there you go. That made through that, uh, not too bad actually. We'll try one against the grain, cutting this way. Once again. Uh, 
Oh, well, that cut through pretty quick, didn't it? Really? There was a knot in there as well. Okay, this is a standard uh, treated um, 90, uh, 70 B 45, sorry. 70 B 45. So we'll try and cut through this. See how fast it goes. It's actually hard to keep it from vibrating back and forth without having it hard up against something else. Oh, it does hurt the wrist a little. Okay, it does eventually get through. But yeah, wow, it's uh, you're best off putting it in a vise if that's what you're gonna do with it. Okay, we'll cut uh, lengthways down. Again, it's just really difficult, really difficult to uh, hold the timber there. I feel that um, that's probably the inhibiting factor in this video. Yeah. So anyway, that's that. So, as you can see, it does cut through nail embedded wood, as promised. And it hasn't left any sharp edges on there, which is kind of nice. You can see the quality of the cut on the edge of that steel. Not bad. It is a nice, it is a, uh, Nice smooth cut, not a lot of teeth marks in there. So it is a nice cut. Um, if I could keep it straight in a vise, instead of it following the grain, obviously that would be better. But yes, holding it in a, in a solid vise or clamp to something would be the best outcome there. So, overall, yeah, it does catch a fair bit of dust up in there. Yeah, but that's expected, isn't it? These tools always get surrounded in dust. Yeah, quite a nice tool. And I think this is going to be quite an advantage for the sort of work that I do. I'm interested. I mean, everybody wants to see a nine inch wood. That's uh, quite a nice blade shape on there. It is nail embedded. See, this one's completely different shape on the teeth. And inside the case, 
we have a nine inch flush cut, nail embedded wood and metal. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but the teeth, um, something white. Hmm, not so white. Ah, good. Not sure if you can see that on camera, but the teeth are quite randomized. They change shape through that blade. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it. But yeah, the teeth, the teeth do change shape as they get further along. Overall, it's a nice tool to have in the hand. It is quite a comfortable grip. I have rather large palms and short fingers. However, however that makes it. It is quite nice in the hand. And there is also this part you can hold with your other hand uh, if you need to push down. So you're sort of pushing against the side of your hand in here, which is a nice sort of soft covered cut out in here. So not bad. And you're not covering too many vents if you hold it like that. If you hold it over the top like this, you'll be covering all the vents. So just keep aware that you need to keep these vents open, otherwise your tool is going to overheat. So if you're going to hold it two-handed, I'd suggest having your hand in like here like this. So you can keep those vents open. And keep in mind that these, this is a HP, obviously. And this is a HP battery with the extra contacts. But if you look up in here, there's no extra contacts. So th this is a HP tool, but obviously the technology is inside here mysteriously somewhere and it doesn't need to talk to the battery so i'm not sure what the go is there but this is australia we do seem to get the dregs of the world down here so i'm not surprised but that's the unboxing and uh quick use of the Ryobi Brushless One HP Handheld Resip. Have a good day, folks.